Stuart, lots to unpick from that one. What did you make of it? I thought we started the game really bright again. Uh, started the game really well. And I f it's, it's not easy when you have two away trips like what we've just had to come to Aki. They're in good form. They were just one away at Swindon. So, like, it's, it was a tough test and we knew it was going to be a tough test. But it's frustrating again. It's so frustrating. I feel like I'm stood here saying it a lot that I'm frustrated. But... The positive is it's a point on the road and it's not easy in this division to come away from home and get a point. So look, we've got to take the positives and it's a point on the road. Back to the start of the day, there's clearly some issues in the camp, a little bit of illness around, you had to make changes. Yeah, Dan Dan Crowley, to be fair, on Tuesday night he played with it uh, and that's why he come off. So there's a bit of illness going through the camp and we just couldn't risk him today. The energy levels would have been lower. But look, when he come on the pitch, I thought he was outstanding. He gave absolutely everything. So look, we can't ask any more. And I think that's for the whole group. If you look at Bozzy and Jim in the middle of midfield today, Sammy Austin as well. I can go through all the team, but, but them boys have played a lot of minutes now. Back to back, we've just been on the road to crawl in and we're on the road here. So look, f fair credit to them. They've got through, got through the mileage and they've put a hell of a performance in for us. Get to the game in a minute, but Chicks as well, he was a late withdrawal. Yeah, Chicks, he just felt a little bit of fatigue in his hamstring so we just couldn't risk it there's no point risking him and you know he's been out for a while chicks but this is what happens when you come into these busy schedules you're going to pick up the niggles and that and and kind of that's what the squad's for so the big man got a start alisana involved early on nice little layoff for jim to put you one up yeah i'm delighted for him uh he deserved it he worked hard all game he was he, he gave us something different they come and pressed us man for man but slokes to be fair has got real good quality with his feet and he was dropping it into him and it was a real handful at times we looked like we could get him one on one just off of one kick so it's a huge positive like we said to have him in the squad and when we signed him we knew that it'd bring something different to us and, and you've seen what he can bring today it certainly did he, he made an impact throughout the uh, the goal right on half time of course that will be a terrific boost for him but disappointed to see him limp off no look I think I think that's the same again. I think it's a little bit of fatigue uh, creeping in. Like he's been training really hard. We've been trying to get his minutes up and, and get it into his legs. And look, he's, he started today. And I think it was a tough. He had to run really hard today. So I think it's, it's just a slight niggle. But we we'll just have to assess it. But I think he'll be okay. Crawley came at you once in the first half, um, and then obviously you were back in the lead by half time. Second half, did, did you feel that you know you needed to make changes? There were there were things happening a little bit like Crawley the other night, just starting to get on top of your side. No, yeah, out wide again. Uh, we, ha we had to change it. We changed it tactically and we had to change it out wide because they were just starting to get the better and starting to cross a lot of balls within the box. But I thought we dealt with anything. I didn't think that they. I didn't feel like they were going to score uh, and it came from the penalty. And I think that was kind of one of the things that, that could they could score from, really. And it had to be something like that, either a weldy from outside the box, which they've got it in them as well. But it would have been something like that. And it's, it's, it's frustrating because I thought Cammy was absolutely outstanding for us today. Is it something that you weren't too happy with or, or was it a penalty you were just in front of me so I know what sort of view you had yeah it's a penalty look it's very hard it, it, they're, the, they're the toughest ones for a defender because they say it's in an unnatural position but it's not when he leads to go with his leg his arm naturally flick, flicks in the air so when it flicks in the air it's just one of those things it's hit his arm it's a penalty and look we've, we've just got to build on this point now you know, we'd lost five on the bounce, so which was, was not nice. But we've come here today and we've put in a really good performance, a really good team performance as well. And we showed a real side of us, that grittiness. Like I said, Jim and Bozzy in midfield have absolutely put a shift in. Can I ask you about Aidan Baldwin? My understanding is he's got 10 bookings now and that would be a ban. Yeah, we feel that that is it. It should be a, be a two-game ban, which is he's a big, big miss, which we see at Crawley the other night. He's a big player for us. Uh, so, yeah, we just have to look at what we've got, the squad, see what bodies we've got, and, and we'll go again on Tuesday night. Things keep going against you, but you, you've ended the the losing sequence. How, just how tough has it been? Yeah, it, there's been a lot of frustration within it because a lot of times when you go on losing runs, you don't really perform to a very good level. And, and today we see at the back end of the game anxiety because you could tell none of our players wanted to be that one that either gave the ball away or didn't quite make a pass and was an error to cost us for a goal. So you see a little bit of anxiety creep in today when we were winning, but we haven't seen that in recent games. The lads are really brave. They want the ball and they, they pass it and we dominate with the ball. So as though it's been frustrating with the results, I don't feel we've had the rubber to green our way. Even at the end there, their goalie's made an unbelievable save. That could go in. If, if he shoots that 10 times again, it goes in nine. He saved the one and that's what's happened today. And we, I don't feel we've had the rubber to green, but... You keep working hard in life and you get the luck and I feel that this could be the turning point for us now as a group because the, the shift that the lads have put in is, is brilliant. 
You've mentioned a couple of times it's frustrating. It's certainly frustrating for the, the supporters, for, for everybody involved, but in particular, what would you say to the supporters? Look, I really appreciate their support today. They really got behind their lads from minute one and backed them all the way to the end and, and they've travelled home and away with us in, in the last periods and, and in, in difficult periods as well, but they've backed the lads and stayed with them and that's all we can ask and they've been brilliant. The lads really appreciate it. It does make a difference. How tough is it? Is it you knew the task that you were taking on, Stuart. Is, is it even tougher than you expected? I think with the results, yes. But I do feel there's a very fine line and in this division, it's a very tight division and it's very fine margins that, that decide games. And you've seen today, we've come away with a point we quite easily could have got three points. Uh, and at the end, we could have nicked it. And I think the games have been very tight in all the games that we've played in. So yeah, it's, it's a very tough division. Nine to go. Clearly, you'll be hoping you get the opportunity to, to get through those nine, get a bit of positive momentum to take into the summer. No, definitely. Look, we always go game by game. We've got to pick up as many points between now and the end of the season and see where it takes us.